Hello, I am back for the second half of this evening's stream where we are continuing through um, Parasite Eve. Now, we've just made our way out to um, Gary to rearm. It was mainly just the Hellfire shots I wanted to stock up on. Um, so I'm going to be heading back down to the Neo um, Arc place. I can't remember what it was called. I'll find out momentarily. And uh, see how much further we can get. And actually, I just thought of something. Last time I went down this elevator, uh, Aya refused to go through the door that was further down. Now that we've uh, tricked or tipped off the um, oh uh, the power over at the power plant. I wonder if anything's changed in here. Now, I don't know what that is. I mean, that reminds me of the big speaker system in Back to the Future. For anyone who's old enough to remember that. So this here, elevator. I sense a terrifying power below. And mitochondria pulse in sync, in kindling, trembling. A normal human couldn't withstand this even for a second. I might be in trouble myself. I'll have to find another way. This here. Hmm. See if I can look at that sign. Danger, level double A. No unauthorised entry. Hmm. Okay. So that's probably final boss area. So not going there anytime soon. So head down, and we need to head round the northern area. And where was it I went to? Oh yeah, the Neo Arc. Okay, so the forest zone, there was the, the woodland path that I went down and didn't get very far because I got attacked by those things. Um, wasn't really able to deal with them particularly well. Um, I don't think I've got anything that actually hurts them that, that easily. I mean, I've got... Uh, and I've only got level one of that. Uh, I don't think pyrokinesis did much to them either. Um, hmm. I think you should go for it. Never know, it might be a better pay. There's swimming things again. Yes, yeah, so um, yeah, it could be once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean, how many people can say that they've uh, worked for Silent Hill? Okay. Oh, a stone Stella here. Blue, white, red, and yellow tiles decorated with gilt designs. Okay. Right. Oh. Right, I've taken another screenshot and I'm holding on to it here because I think that information is important. So, if I'm reading this right, yellow... Oh, right, so they're not all quite the same. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's good uh, public transport um, in or around Silent Hill. Um, mm. Hmm. 
So yeah, there's an interesting pattern on these uh, tiles. Uh, the yellow one at the bottom just has the vertical line. The blue one at the top has a vertical line and a dot. The white and red ones don't have the vertical line, but the white has two dots and the red has three. So that's another puzzle that I'm probably going to find the thing for momentarily. More swimmy things. Okay, I think one more. Oh, and I can see smoke in the distance. I do not like the look of that. Right, so there's the, an island here. Small island lies not far away. Too far to jump though. Hell. Okay, should be able to finish them all now. Whew. Those things are a pain. Oh, look at those. Quad threes, quad ones. The chance of getting those numbers all at once. Okay, right, where am I now? Um... Oh, I'm right on the other side of the uh, that power room. So what's through here? Neo Art Guide map. A map of the facility. I love this to my GPS. Currently in Garden to, on the West Edge. Okay, so what areas have I not, not got into yet? Okay, so I haven't gone to the island. And there's the pyramid as well. Hmm. Okay. So... Hang on a minute. What's this here? Eve testing area. Transport lift only. No entry allowed on this level. A lift that can't be used. Hmm. It said transport only, so that probably means... Oh, right, okay, that's locked. 
okay a lift that can't be used that probably means it's only for transporting like goods or things okay it's a stone stella here the white red yellow tiles decorated with Oh, okay. That's a that's a different one. Okay then. Uh, excuse me a moment. I'm just making sure I've got both these images visible to me to myself. Um. Go. Cool, this is a mean puzzle here because there are two lots of things here um, two, two sets of tiles there's one that only shows four with specific icons next to them and then there's this one with 12 with very different icons next to them but I can't interact with either. So the only thing I can think of is I've got to head to the pyramid. Which I don't particularly want to do because the last time I, I went over there I nearly died. And I'm wondering how to get to that island as well. It's probably a, a, a fight. Oh crap. I am not fighting all these things. I am not fighting <laughs> As much as I want to get the BP, I did not feel the need to fight all those. Okay. What's this sign? Welcome to the Ocean Zone. Zone is home to the agencies. NMCs we like to call fatties. It has been theorised that human evolution began at the water's edge. The subcutaneous layer of fat in humans is a relic from that time. If if what humans ha what if humans had never left their watery environments? That question inspired the design of the fatty NMC. Though it restricts land movement, they're pretty fatty layer provides protection from cold and enemies. The fatty's well-developed arms also help in food acquisition. The fatty can dislocate its arms for improved reach to grab prey from the safety of the water. One powerful blow from this skilled hunter knocks prey out cold. Keep your eyes open and you'll see some fatties sunbathing ahead. This almost feels like a zoo. And when you consider that they can spit electricity. Okay, this is an area I need to get through. And annoyingly, I think I'm just going to have to leg it. The enemies are gone. Okay, more of those scarab things. this is where the puzzle comes in um right okay now this is certainly um
interesting. I'm just repositioning the screenshots I've got to make them slightly bigger. Um, okay. Let's see what we've got here. An old Central American sculpture. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, then. Right. Um. This seems really weird. I'm looking at the screenshots that I've got. And the red one has three dots next to it. And the next um, tile that I had to go to was the yellow one. And then blue, then white. Okay. Okay, so back to blue. Right. By the looks of it, I can brute force this. Right. Okay, no, so it's got to go back to the white again. So red, yellow. Blue, white, blue, white. Try yellow. No. Bloody hell, how many... How many times do you have to um, hit these? I'm trying to figure out whether there's an indicator for how to follow the, the markers, but this is horrendous. I'm not even sure if I can remember all the ones I went through. Blue. White. Then blue. Then white. And what was it again? Was it blue again? No. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look up a um, a walkthrough because this is got to be one of the most horrendous. Okay, right. Okay, top of the pyramid, you'll find four different coloured stones on each corner of the pyramid. On the, uh, and standing on each one will give a different kind of ancient shout. Uh, 
This only means that we have to step on the right color combination in order to open whatever it's supposed to open. Now you can do this the hard way for trying to figure out the code on your own, but I'm just going to give it to you for free. Okay. Right, so red, yellow, blue, white. Blue, white. Okay, I'm going to put this on my uh, second screen so I can read it and follow it through. Uh, there we go. Okay, right. So... Uh, hang on a minute. I've now lost where I was. Oh, there it is. Okay. Right, so. Red. Yellow. Blue. White. Red, yellow, blue, white, blue, white. Red. Yellow. White. Blue. Blue. Yellow, red. Okay. Right, close the uh, <laughs> walkthrough because I... Don't want to look at it anymore. But yeah, I've no idea how you're supposed to figure that out. What was that? Something off to the far west. Far west? Oh, look at all those red rooms now. Hmm. Uh, I really don't want to have to fight more of those scarabs. I hate those fucking scarabs. Ooh. Okay. Right, what am I going to have to... Uh... Oh, I just noticed a follow. I did not see that pop up. I am very sorry for not seeing that stylish socket. Um, I'm going to take a wild guess that you... Um you did that during my break and uh, then you wouldn't have had any sound on the um, oh, uh, the alert either I am very sorry there thank you for the follow um, yeah uh, I don't think you've commented in my chat at all either so um, again thank you for the follow still, still getting used to uh, new follows not many people around oh yes I'm I'm noping out out of you. Don't mind me. Oh, wrong way. I know there's only two of them, but I do not want to fight multiple of those things. I do not like them. Oh, I, I don't like those things. And I'm probably just going to run through the next area as well. Now I'm hoping that's opened the doorway to the, um, the power generator room, the other side of the power generator room. Okay, I managed to do that without triggering the fight, so... I'm not going to be able to get through here without triggering the fight. Yeah, 
Yes, the door's unlocked and there is something on this side if I remember. Oh, now I see why there wasn't any uh, around here. Of those where I took out the ANC generator. They're in the same building, but they're not connected. What an incredible noise. What is this machine? Right, what's this box? Wood box. Full of ammo. Not the ammo that I'm I'm using. Which does indicate that perhaps I should be using that ammo. Or have a um, an item slot available. Uh Okay. Loads of uh, Firefly ammo, and I've got. Um, I should probably swap out. Load for the Hydra, just in case, because it did show Hydra ammo here. So, what's up here? Oh! And like the other one, it's going to heal itself. So... So, again, another, um, doesn't feel like much of a boss fight, if I'm honest. And technically it counts as a boss fight. me while I uh, reload. Uh, let's try this. Okay. And that one is now dead. Again, put it out of its misery. The barrier disappeared, but I can still feel something emanating from far below. Okay, what does that give me? Okay. Oh, I now see red in that room that Aya wouldn't walk through. I think that's my next target. Um, I'm curious about the island, because that doesn't seem to be somewhere that I can easily get to, but it's highlighted on the highlighted on the map as a location that I probably should go to at some point. For all I know, it could be a secret. Don't mind me. Oh, fuck no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be losing BP if I keep doing this, but I just want to survive. Yeah, just run past all the enemies. Oh. Huh. Look, I, under I believe I'm not far off the end of the game. 
I have a funny feeling I might be heading towards a final boss. Noticing. Is this area red? No. Okay. Right. So, because I've got to, got to go up the elevator, I am going to head to the laboratory and save there. And then I'm going to see... What happens? I have a funny feeling that this is kind of heading towards like final boss territory. And if that's the case, I might want to keep that until my uh, additional. Hang on. Oh. Oh, it's another one of those guys. Um, what the fuck? Oh no, are these guys going to get thawed out? Yeah, they're getting activated. Oh, and they're being filled with Titan juice. Oh, they're going to be going psychotic. zombie like at the moment so the game's pointing me that way oh yeah yeah that's the, that's the way to get to the other other door um I'm curious though I'm going to check how much ammo I've got. How much Firefly ammo. Because... I see a barrier. An electromagnetic field of that size, ANMCs. That's power of an entirely different magnitude. Listen, even the biggest foe is a weak point. Stay calm, observe the enemy closely. Okay. That's almost like a... Um, oh, Dark Souls piece of um, advice. Uh, how much fire flare? Oh, I'm still over half. I've filled. So, right. Uh, Gollum something. Oh, I can actually read it better on the smaller screen. Gollum freezer. Right, so. I've just saved. So I'm okay if I die because I'll be brought straight back to where I am now when I reload. I'm heading up there. I want to head up there because I want to see if those guys are up there. And if that activates a fight that I um <laughs> I cannot survive. Cause I fought one of those guys at the beginning of the game on top of the uh, tower. 
and then I, then I had to fly to my again in dry field. And I believe, I, sus I, I was led to believe that that killed him. Elevator, yep. But those were not easy fights. Now, trying to fight multiple of them. Caution. Ah, yes. Don't care about all that. Everything's been broken already. Right. Oh, it's those. That's not what I wanted to die to. Right. So. There are two doors I want to try and get to. This one first. Underground parking. Oh! This door is now open. I don't know what these things do that I'm shooting. They, uh... Hmm. Okay. So. Control room. Unlock the door. Okay. So now we should have a different version of this room. There's nothing beyond the glass. One spot's been rubbed clean. Someone must have touched it. Okay, that's a... Uh, <laughs> a line with um, implications. Right. So, there's a room immediately over here, which I wouldn't be surprised if I can't get into. Ooh. Golem defense system. Eight Golem units are held in each storage deployment pod. Before launching Golems, activate the control room defrost program. Pawn Golem. Color green. Standard patrol model. Rook Golem. Grey. These ones were blue or purple. Close combat model. Knight Golem. Purple. Knight operations model. Bishop Golem. Red. Special operations. Right, so that says that the purple ones that have just been unleashed are the night operations ones. Oh, underground parking. This is a big area, so this is probably going to be a boss fight.
Hydraulic lift pallet trap, probably used for loading. Large gate for vehicles, it's closed. Yeah. Emergency rations, don't think I need these. And it controls the shutter. One, stop vehicle and turntable. Pass ID through reader and the gate will open. There has to be a car on the turntable for it to work. Right, okay. The garage. It's closed now, but there's a control panel over here. Control panel for the, the powered garage system. Someone's left a key here. Okay. A uh, key with a plastic key chain. The key chain is designed to allow the key to be inserted into a slot. Okay. The indicator lamp is off. I bet that means the power's off. Right, okay. So I can't use this just yet. Right. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So I think that means that I'm not going to be able to do anything there, so I just have to go where the game's been pointing me towards. So I'm going to head back, and I think I'm going to save... despite all the BP I'm losing, <laughs> um, simply because I think having cleared those things in that corridor is probably going to help me in the latter point of the game. I think it's worth keeping hold of that little bit of progress. So you head back to the laboratory, save, and then head down to see what the hell um, I didn't want to go see. Hmm. One thing I can definitely say about this game is it doesn't have the the grand scale or spectacle of the first one. The fact that the first one went to so many different locations around um, the city really helped it feel like there was something big going on. This, the entire first disc was basically one building and um, a little bit of an area back at the back at main base. And then this one has been entirely one little town. So it, it feels like the scale of the game has been reduced in comparison. Um, but I get they want, I, I do understand they wanted to have a more interconnected and intricate old, uh, map layout, which I think the barrier must, must be below. Oh, is this the point of no return? I have a feeling this might be the point of no return for the game. So there is a speaker of a sort. And I'm loving the screen effect. Oh, that took out my um, some of my BP. 
90 BP as MP. So I think I'm going to need to use... Or do I not even... I haven't got any left. <laughs> I'm out of... Right, I'm going to have to hold on to that. What's through here? Go down the elevator. Down we go. Down to see what we find. The deeper I go, the more mitochondria, more mitochondria act up. Oh, those are some weird sounds I'm getting. I've got enough, um, yes I'll take that, I have enough to level up that. And now I have, Apobiosis temporarily paralyzes adjacent enemies. Oh, if only I had this sooner. I've got a, f um, hang on a minute. How much is that to, oh, 3,000 to unlock. Oh, wow. How much is that going to be to max out? Okay. Right. So, did we see Maya? Or was it an image? Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Some of my controls. Oh, it's going to kill me.
I've got no more healing left. Yeah, I'm gonna die. What the hell? On one hit point. There we go. Oh! <laughs> okay. Right. <laughs> I think that's probably where I'm going to leave it. Um, Because I'm going to want to look up what to do in that area and how to survive that because I have no idea how to fight those things. I've run away from all of them. Everything I've tried to do doesn't hurt them much at all. Um, I don't even think I've managed to kill one. So, um, yes, let's see. Is there anyone available to raid? Yes, there is. I'm going to return the favour from last, uh, not last week, from Sunday. Tabletop Cinema is currently playing Find Love or Die Trying, which I think my friend Matt uh, started streaming or started playing a while ago which caught my attention so um yes i think we're gonna go and, and raid tabletop cinema i just moved my controller out of the way so yes um i think we're almost to end game um so i'm gonna check to see how much we've got left uh with the walkthroughs and things just to find out um because i don't know whether i'm gonna want to do a full stream um for this or a shorter one over the weekend uh might not be able to do a weekend might have to be a monday one but um yeah it could be saturday sunday or monday I haven't decided yet because um i haven't got a permanent setup or day set for a um second stream during the week but i'm going to try and at least manage uh to find a an evening to do another stream every week but fridays will be my regulars uh 7 p.m every week um vod's are always going to be up um by the time it comes around to the next friday so if there is a second one that will be going up on thursday for upload and um i'll release assuming i can get that all sorted by then can't guarantee so it might that one might have to be friday depending on stuff but anyway um thank you to everyone who has dropped by thank you to stylish socket um again i apologize for missing that um oh missing the notification i'll have to see whether it actually uh, popped up uh, during during the uh, the break unfortunately um i haven't got the sound for the alert set up to appear um with the um Oh, when I've got my holding screen on. So, because uh, if I did that, I'd have the all the game background noise and everything as well. I need to find some way of splitting the audio. I know there is a way to do it. It's just fiddling, fiddling around with the um, oh, the settings and everything. But um, yeah, and actually, just before we go to tabletop cinema, I'm just going to switch over to see whether they are still going. Because I've had occasions before where I raid somebody just as they're finishing stuff okay yep okay yeah he's still going i don't know for how long how much longer for oh bloody heck he's going been going for six hours and 45 minutes <laughs> oh but um yeah anyway thank you to everyone who has been here and has been following me through uh, this very very interesting game um there's links below both on youtube and twitch for everyone to have a look at there's um both my youtube and twitch mentioned on each one there's my uh, youtube playlists where all my live streams go up my discord where not much is happening at the moment but uh, hopefully if things uh, grow a little bit more more things will start to happen and there's also my book on amazon if anyone is interested in having something to read but other than that that will be the end of um this week's stream so um i'm either going to be on tomorrow sunday or monday that's kind of aiming that i'm going for definitely won't be tuesday um and i don't know about wednesday or thursday um yeah so uh most likely thinking monday at the moment but i don't know for certain yet i'll find out when i go live as long as you've got notifications switched on 
but um yeah give us a subscribe on youtube um and if you haven't done a follow on here yet please do that would be appreciated i'm working towards getting affiliate which is why i'm doing two streams a week i've got enough followers to be able to get that um get that little accolade um but i really want to be playing with the uh, custom alerts <laughs> but anyway um yeah uh if i don't see you on the oh, midweek stream i shall hopefully catch you again uh, next week friday 7 p.m uh, gmt but uh, otherwise have a good weekend have a good week and i shall see you again soon bye oh and um oh join me for raiding uh what was it uh tabletop cinema i'm losing track of names here <laughs> but yes if you're not joining me on the raid have a good weekend and week bye